Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker and the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But now you're trying to walk it down. But that's your opinion. I know what you said. You said, uh, uh, people who talk about something like that, but they divorce like we, we, we put on underwear. What divorce got to do with being a sodomite or a lesbian? Don't you? Different, separate issues. Amen. And then you go on and say, uh, take all the songs written by Dave Dunbar. If you want to ask Amen. You know, uh, we bought that bus and found out they tricked us. And we had no air conditioning. Amen. So, called the man and told him that now they want $3,000 efficiency air conditioning. And, well, we talked to the lady and she said, well, I talked to my husband. Okay. Now, today, they call us and say, well, you bring the bus back and we're going to give you money back. Amen. That's you. God touched that man. Yes. Thank you, is going to kind of bring us up to some uh, current events Amen. concerning the kingdom of God. Yeah. But uh, while he's on his way up, uh, I want uh, the reader to turn to 1 Timothy chapter 2. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now we've shared on that respect many times. Amen. Listen close. Hear me close. The Bible says be strong. Mm -hmm. And what? In the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Because we're in the dispensation of grace, that don't mean we can just do whatever we want to do. Amen. We've got to be strong. Read that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. I said before, you have to know who's teaching you. Mm -hmm. Paul said the things that you have heard of me among many witnesses. In other words, your character means ever so much. Preachers him, him. Those who are calling you like him. Amen. Those who are simply a witness bearer to the truth. Mm -hmm. Your character reflects how you have accepted the responsibility to serve God in His kingdom. Amen. You can't do anything you want to do and Amen. hide behind grace. Yeah. Right. This is what is the up in the church world today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are having teachers and preachers and pastors teaching them a weakness that's not of God. Right. You have responsibility when you get saved. Yes. Right. Right. You used to go your own no more. Amen. You don't do no more. He reflected on that uh, big pastor in Detroit. I know him personally. Yeah. Impregnated us, his 16-year-old niece. Sure did. Yeah. And got just as many members now as he had before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What could he be teaching? <laughs> no responsibility. Amen. Right. And as the leader, 
is corrupt mm -hmm. and weak. Mm -hmm. How can the church be strong? Right, right. Amen. Amen. Know that they labor among you for they watch for your soul. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot go to a church that's not teaching all the truth of God's word. Mm -hmm. And again, I said it's not popular to defend the scriptures. It's not popular. Well, it never was popular. But it's even more unpopular today because of the dispensation of time we're in. Mm -hmm. Where the blasphemy, before they, they just wouldn't go to church. All right. You never thought about blaspheming God. They just wouldn't go to church. That's right. Drink, do whatever they want to do, smoke, and do whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't go to church. Now they'll go to church and blaspheme God right in his church. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's not the church of God. Amen. That's your church. Amen. That's your uh, community uh, place of gathering. Right. Amen. That's your social club. Right. Right. It's a better word. Yeah. It's not the church of God. The church of God has to follow a strict rule because this is what makes the church of God. The strictness of the rule as applied to your character that the character can develop into what God is calling for. Amen. Now I've said this many times, but I want you to take heed to this. It ain't gonna be before you long tonight, but I want you to take heed to these these teachings. Everything is falling apart in in the world today. Amen. There's no moral structure. There's no moral code. Mm -hmm. I believe they just passed the Supreme Court overruled the lower court, in which now they say that uh uh sodomites can adopt children. <clears throat> And they can, uh, uh, Boy Scouts, yeah. uh -huh. they had a strict code of morality. Mm -hmm. Now, they had a confessed sodomite to want to be a troop leader. Uh -huh. They fired him. He appealed to a court, and the lower court upheld the rule of the Boy Scouts, which was a strict moral conduct. <clears throat> He over, uh, took it to the Supreme Court, and this the other day, they ruled that you can't fire no Boy Scout leader because he's a sodomite. Amen. In other words, now sodomites can be Boy Scout leaders. That's right. <laughs> well, if the Boy Scout leader is a sissy, what about the boys? All right, go. <laughs> First. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this world is wrong there. Yeah. And Amen. we are the only guiding light yeah. left in a perverse and wicked generation, and we've got to up here hold the blessing back. Amen. Amen. And give me uh, verse 4. No man that wars entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. I told he... you, your life don't mean two cents. Your natural life. Your job you need, yes. Mm -hmm. But your job has nothing to do with your quality of character. Amen. On the job, you see people smoking, and drinking, and telling dirty jokes, and you keep away from them. And they, they ostracize you and talk about you because you don't want to be a part of them. No, you don't. That's right. All right. And I don't care if you don't like me. That's right. I care whether Jesus loves me. Amen. Verse 5. And if a man also strive for mastery. How important is this? Read. Yet is he not proud, except he strive lawfully. Do y'all understand the importance of that? Lawfully means according to the legal word of God. Amen. So we're legalists. Yes, we are. Amen. Oh, y'all, y'all be in all the Bible. Yes, we do. Amen. 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 And what is your problem? Because you don't believe in all the Bible. What do you believe in? What uh, Betty Graham said, or what Crypto Dollar said? But they didn't write the Bible. God did. Man. I'm saying you have to be strong and you have to be aware of the precepts and principles God has established for His church. His church. Amen. And can't nobody make God's church, their church, the way they want it to go. It has to be the way God said to go. Amen. And if you've got what it takes, you'll be strong and steadfast All right. in the faith. Paul suffered many, many persecutions, but he never gave up the fight. And I, I like that. I like that about Paul because Amen. you can't, nowhere in the scripture can you find where Paul ever uh, felt sorry for himself, ever had a pity party. 
Paul, though he was stoned and left for dead, shipwrecked, and tried to build a fire, poison snake, bit him, but he kept on going. Amen. And kept on testifying to the glory of God. Never complained. Put in stocks and beaten. Never complained. Church, you don't have nothing to complain about. All you got to do is what God called you to do. But you can't save the world. No, you can't. But what you can do is be that guiding light. All right. Amen. That you like shine. Amen. That your character is guiding. Amen. And people know there's something different about you. They can call you holy and thou, all kind of names they, they can create. Do what God called you to do. They call you, call you wear your veil. Yes. But still wear your veil. All right. Don't hide it. Don't go certain places or go around your house and put the put your veil coming in your your glove compartment <laughs> or hide it under the front seat. Mm -hmm. And I wonder who ever done that before. Praise God. Amen. Don't wait for me. And I'm just trying to say, church, you gotta have a certain amount of courage to run this race. Amen. And God promised to have a church, didn't he? Yes. He said, I will not leave myself without a witness. God is going to have a sanctified church set apart. Give me 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Where did the denominations come from? Amen. Not from God. Really? Amen. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. Why aren't we all speaking the same thing? Read. And that there be no divisions among you. The divisions come by people not speaking or church leaders not speaking the same thing in unity of the spirit. There's only one spirit. How can the spirit be divided against itself? I believe Paul asked the question, is Christ divided? Christ can't be divided against himself. How can Christ's church be divided? It can't be. Then where's the problem? Somebody is not applying the scripture or taking away from the scripture, in Romans uh, uh, the 6th chapter, uh, jump right in verse 1, and I'm going to call you out last night and feel messy, I'm going to bring this up to speed, I'm sending current events, but I, just, I, want to, I want to shape something here. I want to show you the importance of understanding who you are. God chose you for such a time as this, and yes, it's a difficult time, from the standpoint of prior. Oh, I want everybody to like me. Who don't? But they're not going to like you if you like God. Amen. If you follow his word and they don't, that automatically makes you different from them. Right. That's why Paul said you're peculiar. Amen. You're strange. Amen. You're different according to the world standards. Hallelujah. Where does it go? Brother Read verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Shall we continue to live a sin, a life of sin, because we're in the dispensation of grace? What do you say? God forbid. Now, if, if God forbid, that means God don't want you to do that. Amen. Amen. You can't continue in sin. Why? You've been changed now. Uh, read, uh, is that around verse 11? Where it repeats itself? 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? You know, when grace comes in, uh, uh, preachers, some preachers teach, well, that destroyed the law. It never did destroy the law. Sure did. It destroyed the law. That means there's no moral codes because all the moral codes came under the law. That's right. Praise God. Amen. Shall we what? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? God forbid. Yeah, he said God forbid again. That's the second time he said God forbid. Yeah, so, church, Paul is trying to give a very important teaching concerning a Christian life, a character. And this is what I've been trying to tell you all along. Your character reflects who you are. And never lower that standard. I don't care. Though you know you don't sneak across town to pay the lottery. Right. Don't sneak across town to get a six pack. Well, I'm going to go by way across town and nobody's going to see you. God will. Right. There has to be for realness. Yeah. So the word of God comes to give you a for realness within yourself. So that there's no cheating within your own character. Right. Yeah. Amen. Let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. You have to have a Romans 12 chapter. Everything's on his way up. Uh, just give me Romans 1 and 2 right quick. 
I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. That you is. present your body a living sacrifice, holy, and acceptable, holy or righteous living, which is acceptable unto God. Read. Which is your reasonable service. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The only way that you can be changed, you have to think differently. Mm -hmm. And again, this is what Bible teaching is all about. To make you think the way God wants you to think. And not the way you used to think, or the way sometimes you want to think. It's the way God wants you to think. Mm -hmm. You are saved by being converted. Converted means to change. You have to change something. What? My character has to change. Right. And if my character changes, it's got to change to a way that God would, would accept it. And that is through correct teaching, correct guidance, through correct leadership. Then my character begins to develop a character that is Christ-like. And I don't have to lie. I don't have to cheat. I don't have to steal. I ain't got to be angry. Nobody uh, to the extent where I dislike somebody. Right. And right. carry that on for weeks and even months. Yes. Oh, that's right. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 That's worldly. Right. Now, again, this uh, person that we went to see with head souls to bust, that man knew and that bus could not hold free on. Amen. He knew this, because he didn't tried it before. But he thought he could get it over on somebody. But now, I dare to say, had we not been a church, a praying church, he would have kept that $6,000 for himself. Amen. But God touched that man's heart in such a way, Troubled him. I know that man didn't sleep all last night. Right. Well, he knew. We knew Amen. what he had done, and he knew he didn't have no recourse. Can't go no court. Mm -hmm. He already signed the paper. Yep. But you should have known. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. That's your problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. But we pray. Oh. Amen. 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 So a stony heart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Who, who don't even like you? Praise the Lord. He'll make them change. Mm -hmm. And church, I see a big change coming in this wicked world that think that they can take children mm -hmm. from a holiness church Amen. and give them to lesbians and sodomites mm -hmm. and misfits to, 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 to bring up right. in, a, uh, in a world where uh, they, you have to let a child be what he wants to be. Right. He wants to Amen. be gay. He can be gay. How can a child want anything but what they're taught? But God already predicted this would happen. He said the time would come they would call evil good and good evil. Amen. And he also said, and men would love to have it so. Yes. Is, that, is that scripture? Yeah. Yes. He'd love to have it so. So God and his mercy toward humanity. You're going to have a church that will stand up and be counted in an evil time. Oh, we ain't got a whole lot. Might have left this time next year. Who knows? But I, I said before, God will have a church. And we are going to be that church. Don't have to be weak. Don't have to be beggar. We can be strong. And we can love each other. If the world can love their own, why can't we love Come each on, other? Amen. Amen. We do what we have to do. Clean up, yeah. vacuum, whatever. And I, that's some insurance bills coming pretty quick, ain't we? Amen. 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 Mm. Amen. 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 Right in the end, that's much. Oh, hallelujah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All
give props for another hand for the powerful word of the man. Yeah. I give all our most high God in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Christian, Son of Redemption, Holy Ghost, and Dwight, and all true believers. Yeah. I give all our due to our great spirit, the apostle, yeah. prophet, bishop, and prophet God. Final prophet, message, the actors of the church, yes. beautiful elected mother walking all the saints, and the household of saints. It's such a blessing to be in true light, and this is such a, a wicked world. And he brought out about the Boy Scouts. Now, the way they did it was so slick. I believe last year, uh, when they changed their policy, first they said we're going to start with so called gay team. Mm -hmm. See, first they're going to let the boys in. See, in other words, if they were to let sodomite leaders in over straight boys, they know they would get pressure. So now they let what they call so-called gay teens. But true light, we rebuke that in Jesus' name. There's no such thing as a sodomite teenager. Every boy here is a teenager one, and none of them are no sodomites. That's something that's created by the lesbian movement. And the Boy Scouts have been around for years, and their core duties is to God. How can you have an organization pledging allegiance to God when they got sodomite for leaders out in the woods? What's going to happen when they molest one little boy? Uh, somebody turn that or, or kill, rape and kill one of the little boy. Then what's gonna happen? <laughs> this don't make no sense, Boy Scout. But everybody is jumping on that sodomite and lesbian bandwagon. And I was reading about this pastor in Michigan, uh, Benjamin Hudson, got a little small church, United Methodist Church. He was kicked out as pastor by the bishop for being a sodomite, which is the right thing to do. But there's so much pressure now. I believe he may end up getting his position back. A couple of days after that, he ended up getting married. And two faggots getting married. Yeah. And who gonna marry two men to each other? Mm -hmm. Who gonna marry two women to each other when marriage is a commitment before God? Yeah. God don't honor that. Yeah. America may honor it, Obama may, but God doesn't. Yeah. And I, I found out, I believe today or yesterday, they had a rally at the bishop office in Lansing. Yeah. I believe that man gonna get his job back. Because yeah. the Sunlight 11 are masters at putting pressure on weak people. And that's why they hate true life. We're not gonna be weak. We're not gonna yeah. bow. We're not gonna. Compromise. I never thought the day would come. Well, since he's a legend, they don't took it over sports. They don't took it over uh, everything. They took over music, over TV. They try to take over the Church of God, but they will never take over True Light, amen, because we're going to follow and uphold the Word of God. And uh, United Methodist Church also announced that the Boy Scouts unit that they uh, sponsor from their church can have sodomites as leaders. Now, what kind of church is that? you going to have sodomites. Uh, leading and guiding young man. That's just uh, give, give your chicken to the wolf. That's a shame. We supposed to be protecting the children. Not 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 giving them to sodomites, not giving them to living. And Obama sitting back smiling and that comment that devil Robert Gates made. Well we need to accept the word the way it is, not the way we want it to be. Mm -hmm. The reason the word the way it is is because they strayed away from God. There's no way 20, 30 years ago you'd have sodomite in a Boy Scout. Uh, lesbian teachers, lesbian running daycare, lesbian running everything. They run everything for the church of God. That's why they hate the church. That's why they got to destroy the church. But they cannot get through the blood of Jesus. And we're going to continue to get persecuted, to get hated, to get mad at us, and we don't use that word gay. That's your word. Our word is sodomite. That's God's word, amen. amen. Now, homosexual may be denoting attraction, but when you get down to it, you are a sodomite. You are a lesbian. Amen. And if you don't like the label, stop being a sodomite or a lesbian. You can change that. You control that. Amen. You are not born that way. Right. And many of you saw what, what Planned Parenthood is doing. A wicked organization. They were fought about racing. Not only killing baby, but selling their parts. Yeah. One day he said, I, I need a Lamborghini. Mm. And don't you know Obama stood before them and said, God bless you? Mm -hmm. He loved Planned Parenthood. But do you know they were fought about Margaret Sanger, a, a racist who wanted to get rid of the black race called uh, black people bad seed. And look where most Planned Parenthood are at. <laughs> and 40% of the abortions happen at Planned Parenthood. 40% out of the 1.5 million every year. And they get $500 million every year in taxpayer money. Y'all know y'all money go to Planned Parenthood? But what they do, they say it's not directly for abortion. They do uh, cancer screens and all this stuff. But one day he said that was a lot. They don't do no mammograms at Planned Parenthood. You know that? If a woman want a doctor, you find you another clinic. Amen. Every Planned Parenthood in America should be shut down. It's nothing but a killing field, a killing machine. Killing innocent babies. Don't kill your babies. That's murder. Amen. Oh, he's just a fetus and then they try to get all their name. God said, I knew you. Fetus not in the Bible. <laughs> a toddler and all that stuff. If you're a human, 
or you're not. Thou shalt lay before you form in the womb. You can't make a life led by trying to call a fetus or a clump of cells and all that kind of stuff. No, that's the hand of God. And in nine months, that turns into a little baby coming out. Man. But Obama said, you about protecting the innocent. What's more innocent than an unborn child? Yeah. Baby didn't ask to be born, so they didn't ask to be killed. But yeah. they don't care about killing because they're all about money. And I guarantee you, Planned Parenthood number one followers are lesbians. Because lesbians hate the family structure. We know. We see what we're going through. A good brother in the church had his kids taken. Who would be having it? Lesbians. Because they hate church. They hate church. Well, I rephrase that. They hate the true church. Amen. Don't say, they don't hate the Catholic church. They don't hate the Baptist church. They hate the church that teaches prevails, that teaches against sodomite and legend, that teaches against our kids doing the hip hop thing. I think I want a Hawaii or somebody come out. Taylor Smith, Swift, what's her name? Swift. Swift, yeah. A role model for a young girl. No, she's not. She wear makeup and earrings. So what? With limited talent, she got millions of dollars. She's not no role model. Where's her veil covering that? All right. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> when last time she told you to repent and be baptized in water in Jesus' name? She's not no role model. The only role model is true light. The only one setting an example for the world today. And, and I honestly believe, and well, let me call, I don't want to forget this, about this coward preacher, E. Dewey Smith. Maybe some of y'all heard about him. He got a big church in Georgia. Now, he made his big speech and it went viral on YouTube, yeah. trying to criticize us for coming against Simon and Lesbian, but now you're trying to walk it down. But that's your opinion. I know what you said. You said, uh, uh, people who talk about Simon and Lesbian, but they divorce like we, we, we put on underwear. What divorce got to do with being a sodomite or a lesbian? Them two different, separate issues. Amen. And then you go on and say, uh, take all the songs written by gay gospel artists, you wouldn't have nothing to sing. <laughs> well, you, you might be right, but we don't have something to sing, amen. amen. God said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yeah. And God will be your city to make a joyful noise unto him. But now you want to walk it back when the pressure get on you. Now he made a statement he don't support things like marriage. Mm -hmm. But you must support something, or you won't be trying to criticize churches for coming in sodomite. And living. Everybody will take the stand to support them because it's popular right now. And uh, our sports team, Detroit Lions, uh, LGBT Pride Night. What a football, what a sissy. How can they relate to football? <laughs> With Russ and Temple Man hitting each other. That's the last thing a sodomite can relate to. But it's the money involved, it's the popularity. And everybody know if they cling to the sodomite and lesbian, movement, they're going to be popular. They're going to be relevant. They're going to have money. But what about Judgment Day? Amen. Right. You know how much money Bill Gates get to Planned Parenthood to kill baby? How much money he gives to support Sodomite and Lesbian? This stuff isn't just funded by nobody. It's rich, powerful people Amen. behind that lesbian movement, behind that killing baby movement. So we fight against wickedness and we're fighting against a lot of money, but we're fighting with God on our side. So true life, stay strong, stay encouraged. The first season against the church is gonna come more and more, and as we uh, predict or pro prophesy, I believe that Hillary Clinton will be the next president. And that woman hates God, she hates, she hates everybody. And the, the persecution against the church is gonna get worse and worse. The Bible says evil man and seducers will wax worse and worse, we're going to have more persecution. They may try to take more babies, may try to shut down the school, may try to shut down the church. And it's a man in Ford Motor Company, before I forget, um, he, he called Sodomite an abomination and Ford fired him. But now he got a big lawsuit against Ford. Amen. We're praying for him. I hope he wins. Because I think he went on the comment section on the website and said it was an abomination. And he's not backing down. He, he, he said, I don't want nothing to do with them. They support Sodomy. So we praying for that brother, praying with that brother. Amen. And I remember back in Michigan, when Ford, Jim, and Chrysler each gave $250,000 to them sodomites in Ferndale mm -hmm. to build that center. And that hurt my heart. Now, why they won't give Prophet Walker $250,000? What can we do with that? But they want to give it to the devil, to sissies, to sodomites, to further uh, show their hatred of God, to further poison the children. True light, we got a great fight. And a battle ahead, and sometimes it seemed like the devil was winning. He got all the money, he getting all the prestige. But in the end, God wins. We got to be strong and stand fast, not be ashamed. Uh, realize you're on the winning team. And in a war, you're winning every battle. Sometimes it's little defeats, little setbacks. But this side of my thing, this thing going to be strong. It, it may cost you your job one day. 
You should be able to go around and joke around jobs, take it this, take it that. They know you're going to get caught off it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you call somebody a faggot. <laughs> Ain't no unions no more. You're going to get walked out the door. Mm-hmm. Now, you got to even be careful to talk about something. You, the person you talk to might be a side of mine. Mm-hmm. You know, all the guys don't think you can go around and joke with everybody because they got power over man, but they don't got no power over God. They don't got no power over you like And you got easy to extend. Stop being a power. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't try to speak out of both sides of your mouth. That's what I, why John's got here. Well, I know Dave might be right, but just in case. There's no just in case. There's only one true church and one true leader, amen. What you need to do is get on a proper walker. And, and nobody ever um, uh, confused proper walker word. They'll never say, oh, he said this. No, he talked out of one side of his mouth. And he speaks from heaven because he speaks with the authority of the Holy Ghost. That's why I'm only one leader. You got too many leaders. You got too many cowards. And too much confusion Amen. so far in Christianity today. I thank God we got a strong leader yeah. and no confusion. Too light, stay in courage. Amen. No matter what the devil does, do not buckle. I don't care if your best friend, your your auntie, a lesbian, you know, or why don't you leave that church? You, you, you know, no, uh, no. Auntie, I don't care who you are. I'm not compromising or leaving holding it for no that way, man. Because your soul is more important than any relationship that you can have on earth. And all that they teach in the day are, a personal relationship with Christ. I'm not talking about religion. There's no relationship with Christ that doesn't line up with his Bible, amen. And in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. That's why they love Joe Osteen. He's so nice and non-confrontational. And he loves everybody. He don't want to offend nobody. But by being a coward, he's, he's offending God. Oh yeah, he got books. <laughs> and he suddenly he got matches and he can fill up a stadium. But name one thing he told you to do that's going to get you to heaven. Why does he teach about salvation? We're not here baptizing water in Jesus' name. Why he don't never say nothing against Sodomite and Levin? Because he care about money. Your best day. God never promised your best day. You gonna suffer down here. Bible says long suffering. You gonna go through. You gotta go through persecution. So what did him and Joyce Meyer get this best day ever? And her church, she made 110 million dollars mm-hmm. in 2014, but she claimed her salary was 250 thousand dollars. That's a lot of the pits of hair. Her makeup and, and shoes and, and Botox shot. You know you gotta get a shot every month. Two or three shots. <laughs> I read a magazine one time they talk about it, and I'm told how Brad Pitt and Angela Jolie get all these shots every month. You know they gotta get shots here and shots there. Don't things cost it costs two hundred and fifty thousand, three hundred thousand dollars a year for a so called celebrity, and that's what she is to keep up their so called looks. But she don't got no good looks. She looked like a devil, amen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's what she is, a devil, a demon. And even if she did make $23,000, she's still stealing it, but she didn't make that. If she made $110 million, $90 million were in her pocket. Amen. Uh, if not $100 million. Mm-hmm. And the rest she spent <laughs> on her house. She may pay people a few money, but show me one minute she's supposed to make $110 million. Mm-hmm. And not do enough for nobody. <laughs> but they don't want to set a tax off of any truth. But that billionaire, I'm praying that he does or she does what God has put on their heart to do, amen. And if the devil can have money, then so can the church of God. Let's go use it in a positive way. So true life, stay encouraged, know we got the victory, amen. Thank God for your leader. Every day you down with me. Thank God for the honor, the privilege, and the pleasure of being on God's side in these last days to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Again, try to show you the importance of not lowering your standard Amen. and being proud of the standard that you carry. Amen. Don't be ashamed. Amen. Oh, see, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God to salvation to everyone that believes. Again, to everyone that believes. You have to allow your belief to develop the faith that is necessary to carry us in these very difficult and evil times. But God is still in charge. Amen. And again, it has opened up prayer, changes things. Amen. And if you feel that you'll be, pray to God and ask God for more strength. Yeah. God, fill me with all your spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I can press and fight this good fight of faith. Uh, I just want to kind of close in uh, 2 Peter chapter 2. 
uh, pick up a verse one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be. Now here Peter gives a warning. He said there were false prophets back then. Mm -hmm. Read. Even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, mm -hmm. even denying the Lord that brought them. And now denying the Lord that brought them means denying the truth that God brought. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to church to get married to Sodomites, and I'm going to find a pastor who will marry us. Mm -hmm. A lesbian, two lesbians going to get married and find a pastor. I shared the other night. They're doing this. They, they don't need to get married for what? But they're doing this to mock the Church of God. They know the Bible speaks against it. But they're doing it to mock the Church of God. Why? They don't believe. They don't believe, they don't believe there's a God. But they're mocking God to try to show you your God is so powerful, so strong. Look. And get coward preachers to marry them. Amen. And then tell them God loves you just like you love anybody else. That's a lot in the pits. God ain't never going to send nobody to the lake of fire if he loves you. Amen. Now, he loves you to the extent that he died for you. Right. All humanity. But you got to also, ain't you got to love him back? Amen. Did he say, keep my commandments? Amen. She don't keep his commandments, you don't love him. Husband going to keep his wife right if he don't love her. Amen. 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 Right. Uh, 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 get, you get verse 2 and 3. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Many shall follow, just no, few. Many. Many shall follow their pernicious ways, mean their evil ways. Uh -huh. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. The truth shall be evil spoken of. Uh, give me a uh, second, Timothy, what Paul said. Uh, jump right in chapter 4. Uh, pick right up in verse 1 and 2. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Yes. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove. Now the again, preach the word, be instant. It would mean the same. You still got to preach it. Read. Now, now, God said you ain't supposed to judge, but he, he just said preach the word, and, and, and the word reprove means to correct something. That's right. Amen. You're going over something to correct it. Reprove and what? Reprove. Reprove. In other words, go over it and then straighten it out. All right. Yes. Amen. Reprove and review. Right. To what? And so it was all long suffering and doctrine. But, and doctrine. Yes. You don't just re reprove them and rebuke them. You got to take the doctrine or the Bible and right. then reprove them and rebuke them. That's right about it. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. Read. Really? For the time will come when time they, will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They won't listen to the truth of God's word. That time is here right now. Read. Really? But after their own lust shall they heed to themselves teachers having itchy ears. They go to all these false churches because the preachers is preaching to them exactly what they want to hear. Tell me I can sit and, I, and I'm still going to heaven. Mm -hmm. My goodness, who wouldn't want to? Uh, if you're foolish and, and, and unbeliever, wouldn't you want to go to a church like that? Mm -hmm. But if you, have, if you have a belief in God's word and the conviction that you don't want to go to a church like that. Why? Because you know it's a lie. Amen. So what is heaven and hell for? If, if, if the devil is going to hell and you do right and you don't go to hell, how can you go to heaven if you do wrong? Amen. What is the devil cast out for? For breaking God's law. Yeah. Yeah. You're serving the power of God, the authority of God. So God cast him out. And not only did he cast him out, but I think a third of the heavenly host. Was well, that right? That's right. Yeah. A third of angels. Amen. That was a good preacher. Y'all hear me? Amen. A third followed him. Mm -hmm. God said, don't do this. Say this all right. Mm -hmm. Come on. We're going we're gonna to take over this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God told Michael, go straighten it out. Amen. Amen. And cast him in a third of the heavenly host or a third of the angels with him. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you. Now, you know, if angels in heaven who had an identity with God if the devil could persuade them, you know how much more could he persuade us and we ain't never seen an angel nor seen God face to face. Amen. That's why he sent the word. And that's why the boss said, meditate 
In other words, think about this word. Don't hear it tonight and forget about it tomorrow. You got to think about this. All these teachings that we're giving you, you better meditate on this. Amen. Think about it. Amen. Let that thing sink into your mind. You can't nobody come along and say, oh, well, that's just a nice story. Don't, don't believe everything. Well, you better believe all of it. Amen. You better let it change you. All right. And don't let the world change you. Let the Bible change you and not the world. Amen. We're not of the world. Amen. And we can't be of the world. Right. We have put aside all those things. And we are truly born again. Yeah. Old things are what? Passed away. The old all things. My whole life is new. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even want to do the things I used to do. Right. Right. Yeah. And if the flesh creep up, I rebuke it. Yeah. And this too tough our fast today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to let the flesh take away my relationship with God. Don't do that, church. Amen. And I've said before, we cannot allow for any type of android or robot type of spirit to be within us. <laughs> he teaches the word. Amen. Then he stands back. All right. And see how she, how you accept the word. Amen. Can you live by it? Amen. Can you stay strong by the word? All right. Amen. Or will you be just like the rest of these wicked churches? Compromise here. Compromise there. Compromise there. Next thing you know, you ain't got nothing but a compromised church. Amen. And God said, if you add on or take away from the book of this prophecy, the words of this book, he'll take your name out of the book of life. Amen. Did he say so? Amen. How can you take something out that has not already been put in? Amen. So what about what's saved? He don't care about what's saved. He don't care about that. He said, if you defile the book, try to change something, alter it, Add something. He'll say, he'll take, even though you're saved, he'll take your name out of the book of life. Man, you better get that. Revelation 22nd chapter. I'll be that's around verse 19. All right. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall now, hear. The words of the prophecy of this book, now you didn't heard me speak it. So you ain't got no excuse. No reason. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Yes. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. God shall take away his part out of the book of life. <clears throat> I said you can't go to the ice spot and get a quart of milk if you ain't got no milk in the ice spot. Right. So in order for you to name to be taken out, you must have once been saved for him to take your name out. So again, that removes once saved, always saved. Right there. Yeah. Self-evident and plain is the best I spot. Yeah. So again, I'm saying, brothers and sisters, don't get discouraged enough that you want to leave the church. Amen. I don't care what you want to do. And don't ever think that God don't know what you're going through. He knows what you're going yeah. through. Amen. You don't even have to tell him. Lord, I know this is happening. You see what, what he's doing, what she's doing to me. And sometimes they won't even speak to me and treat me bad. He knows that. But still have joy. Amen. Have joy for simply for the fact God promised you yeah. an eternal life better than this life. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. That's what you got to seek first. And don't set your affections on nothing down here. Amen. But keep your focus on heavenly things. Amen. And I promise you, this thing is going to come out right, church. Amen. And please, you need your children back? Amen. Or God destroy this whole world. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, I'm thinking you're judging and you're getting to people. Right. You better get hold to what's going on. Yeah. I know that you, you, you don't believe the Bible. You don't believe nothing. No prophecy. You don't believe it. But I'm here to tell you, you watch. Keep doing what you're doing and persecuting the church of God until he gets enough and see what he'll do. All right. Touch not. My anointing not. No, my prophets no harm. Mm -hmm. Better you take a millstone tied around your neck and be cast in the sea yeah. and harm the least of these. My brethren, Amen. you know what said? Amen. Harm the least of these. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Not only the one who preached it, but the one who sat in the back. Right. On the least of the Amen. That's God's word. And God cannot tell a lie. That's right. So all we got to do is have the patience 
to fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I said one quote in Second Timothy chapter 2. Uh, jump right into verse. Did you read verse 4? Yes. No man that warned and tangled himself uh, with uh, the give me, Give me a, a chapter 4, Second Timothy chapter 4. Amen. Jump right into verse 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Who watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. What? Endure afflictions. Did y'all catch that part? Amen. Yeah. Endure affliction. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of a preacher. Make full proof of thy ministry. Make full proof of your ministry. Mm -hmm. Read. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I'm ready to be killed, and I it ain't gonna be too long from now. Mm -hmm. What he's saying. Uh huh. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my now course. That's where I want to stop. Amen. I fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. I finished my course. Mm -hmm. Now read on. I want to say that part where you say everybody left me. Mm -hmm. I have kept the faith. I, what? I have kept the faith. Hallelujah. Never compromise. Never compromise. I'll be over in the 20th chapter. Actually, said I never preached for money or for baby glory. Yeah. I never did that. Amen. Read. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Uh, not to me only, eternal life he's talking about, but to them that love his appearing when he comes back with judgment. Love to see it. Some ain't gonna like it. All right. <laughs> but a few are gonna love to see it. Amen. 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 God, good and faithful servant. It's real church. Amen. But you got to believe it. Amen. I can teach you and tell you, but you still got to believe it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Let us stand. Amen. Thank you, Lance, for the wonderful Thank you, God, for giving us your And thank God for his mercy mm -hmm. and guiding us and protecting us and keeping us. Yes. Mm -hmm from decisions that sometimes we make in haste. Mm -hmm. And then when you see the error, he corrects it. Yeah. 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 You read that six thousand dollars, you know what, we, listen, we, we got a few dollars stashed, mm -hmm. but we don't have no six thousand dollars to throw away. Amen. 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 I told you about it last night. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because Hezekiah, mm -hmm. prophet said, get your house in order, get ready to die. Hezekiah told God, I don't want to die now. There's something I got to do. Mm -hmm. And I've been up right before you. In other words, he told God, I, now I'm just not telling you that. I'm telling you that in the point, I've always served you. Amen. I'm not ready to die. Leave in the court, God. Turn around and we'll go back and tell him I'm here this morning. And I'm going to add on. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Love Talk Radio.